Hello, my name is Yi Song Yu. I'm a professor of computing and mathematical sciences here at Caltech. My research area is machine learning. I'm most interested in figuring out new ways to bring the theory and the practice of machine learning closer together. What that means is I work on real applications uh, through collaborations with domain experts. I then work to understand how to abstract away the key characteristics of these applications and encode them as mathematical objects. We then build supporting theory and algorithms to leverage these characteristics and then show that these new algorithms actually work in practice by translating them back to the real world application. Within machine learning, I work primarily in two sub areas. The first is called interactive learning. And the basic idea is that you have machine learning systems that must interact with its environment and collect data and learn and adapt on the fly. The canonical example is a personalized recommender system where the system must personalize on the fly from very limited data from the subject that it's personalizing to. Here at Caltech, I work on this in the context of clinical therapies. So for instance, if, a, if we implant a, an electrostimulation device inside the body of a paralyzed patient, then we can do personalized electrostimulation therapy to help the patient regain some limb function. And of course, every patient is unique, their injuries are unique, and their physiology is unique. And so we really need to personalize with very little data on the fly. Other examples include things like exoskeleton therapies, where we want to personalize the gates of exoskeletons to maximize the comfort for the subject using the exoskeleton. Another example, which you see in the background of, this, uh, of, of my screen, is uh, learning to fly for drones, where uh, we want to help drones fly more effectively in novel environments where there may be unknown disturbances or poorly modeled disturbances. And so that is a form of interactive learning as well. Finally, uh, interactive learning is useful in AI-driven design. So if you think about things like protein design or nanostructure design or material design, uh, the typical way to do this process is to run a simulation or run an experiment of a design, measure the properties of interest of that design, such as the thermal stability of a protein, and then repeat. Now, of course, collecting that data is very expensive. So you want to be very strategic about how to collect that data. And that's where interactive learning can come into play. And so a lot of the methods I've been thinking about have been applied to various iterative design processes with various engineering faculty and research groups here at Caltech. The other area that I work on is called structured machine learning. And so here the idea is that we want to actually impose some structure on top of black box machine learning. You may have heard of an area of machine learning that's very popular now called deep learning. And deep learning is popular because it is so powerful. Unfortunately, it's also a black box, which makes it hard to interpret or analyze. And that is very challenging because in many safety critical applications, we need safety guarantees in order to actually certify that this learning system will not behave in a way that it's not uh, supposed to do. And so that is something that's very important to me and my research agenda. Other reasons why you want to impose structure into machine learning and black box learning include things like improving data efficiency. So the, the methods less data hungry, uh, making the methods more interpretable or making the methods more controllable. So again, in the background here, you see an example of neural swarm or neural lander where we actually combined deep learning with control theory to come up with deep learning based controllers that are much more agile than traditional controllers, but also have guaranteed stability properties, which is very cool. And so this allows for agile drone control with provable safety guarantees in potentially unsafe conditions. Other applications I worked on include automated broadcasting. Well, we want to train, and train a neural net to be able to automatically broadcast, let's say, a sports game. And we do so by imitating a human expert. We also want to guarantee that the deep, deep learning neural net will behave in a way that's guaranteed to be smooth because smoothness translates to comfort in the visual experience for uh, watchers and viewers. In other applications of sports analytics, uh, we worked on being able to model team sports behavior, which requires inferring the roles or latent intents of the various agents in the team. And we do so with the help of human domain knowledge from our sports analyst collaborators. Uh, the final area that I want to highlight is controllable agent design. So if you think about next generation video games or interactive movies or even interactive educational systems, we want to be able to design AI agents that can interact with 
humans and do so in a way that's easily controllable by an experience designer or UX designer. It's sort of like a director telling an actor what to do. The director gives high level commands, like you know, act more happy here, act more sad here, and the actor just knows what to do. Similarly, we want a, a way of training AI-based agents that you give it high level commands and high level directives, and it knows how to execute the low level commands. And that requires blending some amount of structure onto these black box learning. And so, of course, I'm also very interested in the theory of machine learning. And so thinking about these two areas of machine learning, the theory that comes to mind include things like sample complexity. Can we, can we analyze how much data is needed to get a uh, machine learning system working in these applications? Things like, can we actually provably constrain the learning to have certain types of guaranteed behaviors such as safety or stability? And finally, how do we get machine learning systems that can optimally trade off for multiple different criteria like accurately panning, to capture a sporting event while guaranteeing safety or smoothness. And fundamentally, there's an algorithmic design principle of how do you properly blend black box machine learning with these domain specific structures in a general framework to get the best of both worlds, the power of deep learning with the structural benefits of domain knowledge. If you're interested in more information, you can visit my website, www.yisangu.com, where we have all of our papers and talks and blog posts and other things to help you get started with learning more about this area. Thank you for your attention.